Hey there beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris aka the IT guy and today I'm going to show you how to install and configure the Dart programming language on Windows 10. If you are going to start out as a Dart programmer and uh, you want to see how to set up the environment, this is now the special video and it is very specific and it is now step by step tutorial on how to do this one. And if you are currently using Dart and you want want to see how to set it on Windows 10, this is also the best choice for you. And before I proceed to anything, you have to check if there is no pre previous instruction of Dart. Uh, to do that, you go in the LAN and type CMD like this one. And once you type CMD, you will be prompted with uh, a window like this one. What you're going to do here is to go and type Dart and put hyphen hyphen version like this one. And when it returns this one that the Dart is not recognized as an internal or external command, it means that you will need to install Dart uh, SDK and you're going to see how to do this one. Okay, without further ado, let's see how we can do this one. First of all, I'm going to open my uh, favorite browser. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. You can use another uh, favorite browser of yours. And of course, I have my internet set now. And I'm going to go ahead and type uh, on my search bar, type Dart like this one and press enter. And there will be a bunch of uh, top stories here and we are not going to do that. What we are interested in is this the dart.dev website. I'm going to go ahead and click on the first link on here. This is now the first link that we will be uh, able to uh, to allow us to download the Dart SDK. And once the website is now open, it will be looking like this one. And I hope uh, the interface will never be be changed as the time of watching this video and if you see that the interface is changed don't worry it will fit but the processes are the same so go ahead on the right corner and click on where it's written get dart and once you click on there we'll be prompted with a lot of things but what you are, we are going to proceed the with is, is to go where it is uh, uh, saying installing the Dart SDK and what you're going to do is to go ahead and click on download the SDK zip file and once you click on there you will be also uh, be prompted to choose the version that you want to download and it can depend on your architecture in this case i'm using a 64-bit operating system and i will have to acquire this setup and the time of making this video uh, the version that is available is 2.14.4 and the, the versions may vary if you see that there is another version on here don't get it twisted it is now how it is that is how it it works they are updating every day and if you want to experience the beta or, or not stable version and uh, what we are seeing here is the stable version which means that it is now tested and it is um, approved for production use and if you want to experience the beta version you can go ahead and choose from here and what you're going to do is to go ahead and acquire this setup now I'm going to click on here and the download will start and it will depend on the speed of your internet if it is slow it will be slow if it is fast it will be first and of course i'm going to wait for this to be done and we will continue once this is done all right once this is now downloaded you can go ahead and open it in folder like this one show you in folder and once we are able to get it on further, let me do this one and you can go ahead and uh, minimize this and uh, minimize this one so as to have a clean workspace and what I'm going to do is to double click on this one to open it if you are using um, an archive ma a manager tool like 7-zip like um, uh, this ring lal, you can use it to unzip this one because now it's zipped and you can go ahead and uh, when you are in, in this um, archive, you can see that there will be this folder that is called Dart SDK. And this is now the package that we are going to install. And to do that, we are going to go ahead and open our Explorer right here and go on this PC and go on local disk C and I'm going to uh, install it. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this Dart SDK on this folder. And the reason why we didn't um, install it on program files or anywhere else is because this Dart you need, we need to be um, 
accessing the files or changing, making changes on the system without interrupting the user to grant the permission for every prompt. Okay, you got it. So go ahead and drag, drag and drop this one, and it will take like less minutes to finish. And let's wait for this though. All right, perfect. Once now this is once this folder is a lady, you can go ahead and uh, double click on this one to enter into it. And when you try to open it, you will see that there will be a lot of files and folder in here. And what you're going to do is to go ahead and open this bin. And once you are in the bin, you can go ahead uh, on this uh, on this area and do the right click copy address and once you copied the address you can also go in the explorer again go to this pc and do like click on free space like here go to properties when you go to properties go to advanced system settings and you will see there will be a lot of uh, buttons but go on environment variables and there will be a uh, the variable for admin and the system variables and what you're going to do is to go on path and click on edit you can go ahead and uh, press on new and paste this one and once you are done go ahead and press ok you can also set it on the system variable and we go on path again and click on edit and you have to go ahead and and uh, press new and paste it here too once uh, you are finished with all this one go ahead and press ok and ok again and ok again for sure so close all these ones and we're going to test if it's now ready to work i'm going to close my command prompt and open it again like we used to and type the same command dart hyphen hyphen version like this one and at this point you can see that the dart now is able to be allocated on our system and we are getting the result as you type this command and additional to that there will be some cases when you need to use it in the vs code ide and I'm going to open it and I'm going to show you how to install e the extension of Dart in VS Code. If you don't have a VS Code installed, you can go ahead and Google it here to get the one VS Code like this one. VS Code. And the first link that will come will be from this one. And you can go ahead and download the one for you. But in this case, I have it installed on my system. So I'm going to double click on it to open. And I'm going to wait for a couple of seconds for this one to open. And there will be uh, some projects that I was previously making. And don't don't get scared. It was my uh, PHP project. So I'm going to go ahead and close or to have a, a clean workspace. And to do that, I'm going to try to create a new folder here. And I'm going to call it, uh, for example, a dart uh, underscore project and it will be like this one that project and once i'm in here i can go ahead and uh, drag and drop here it will um to it to it change or replace the existing files on this directory of vs code and uh, i trust the authors for sure uh, so let's wait for this to be allocated all right, once you are on this interface, let's go ahead and close this. Once you have this interface, you can go on extensions like here. This is now the extension icon, or you can go ahead and use this shortcut, Control Shift X, and you can go ahead and type uh, Dart like this one. And there will be the first that will be prompted, and this is now the Dart extension. You can go ahead and uh, install it on VS Code. And can wait for a couple of seconds for this one to be done. And once this is now done, and we are good to go. And this is now actually how you can set up the Dart programming language on Windows 10. I, I hope guys you find this video very straightforward and informative. If you did, go ahead and press like. And if you are coming on the channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments if you met with any problem or errors where you are 
performing the installation. I will be right here to help you like always and stay cool.